Hey everyone, welcome to Rome actually with another video. Today we are taking you on a day trip from Rome to Calcutta, which is a magical little village that feels like it's frozen in time. We drove there, but you can also join a tour, hire a driver or go with the taxi. You can find more information about how to get to Calcutta from Rome in the description below. Let's get it started. From the parking, we are taking this uh, path. It's paved and it's easy to walk a little bit downhill um, to Calcutta. Uh, the old town of Calcutta, it's uh, not accessible by car because uh, it's an old town and it's a ZTL always permanently. Um, it's, a, it's a town uh, perched on a um, tough uh, hilltop and dominates the valley of the ri uh, river Treya. In fact, you will also see uh, openings of the, from hiking paths of the Valle del Treia. We are going to enter Calcutta uh, from uh, a gate, the only one gate through the, the walls of the city. And uh, from here, uh, once we step over the gate, we will feel like stepping over to another world, another time, back in time, because even though it's only like, let's say, an hour from Rome, uh, it retained its a very old uh, charm and architecture. Let's see. Here there are stairs and it can be slippery today. It's not a rainy day, but it's wet, probably because of the presence of the river. You see the, the path, it's uh, quite difficult because it's a pretty steep downhill. So this, you can see here, it, uh, there is a bus stop. And this is the entrance to Calcutta. You can see also it's written there with a car. Here you can enter. It's obviously, it's very touristy very touristy and uh, so you will see plenty of little shops, restaurants everywhere. And here we are in the old Calcutta. This is the only one gate into the wall of the old Calcutta, Calcutta Lake. Let's go and let's see. Calcutta Vecchia, uh, so the old Calcutta where we are visiting today, it's a medieval town that before the Second World War, so in the 30s, was abandoned by the, by the residents because the um, hilltop, the tough uh, stone hilltop started, there were uh, many collapses, started collapsing and uh, so people abandoned the town and moved some two kilometers from here and founded the new Calcutta, the modern Calcutta. Um, the place though, it's not completely abandoned because the artists from Italy, from the region, from Italy, from all over the world, um, always on the lookout for uh, some quiet and abandoned place to move, to settle, to produce their art uh, in, in a quiet environment, started repopulating the place. And now, in fact, it's, a, it's, a, it's known as the place, the village of artists, um, because there are artists from all over the world and producing every type of art, paintings, sculptures, musicians. So it's sort of like a Bohemian place where they live and they expose their art. In fact, we see also a workshop, plenty of shops. Now it's also quite touristy 
touristy place and we see many restaurants. Also, you see shops selling the local products. Here, the local products are the products of the Viterbo because we are in the Viterbo province. So the products of the Viter the mountains of Viterbo, the Viterbo area, the two shops. So when it's a season, you will find the hazelnuts, uh, chestnut in the local restaurants. So you will see, first of all, you will see that they have uh, options for everyone, meat eater and also vegetarian. Um, many of the dishes, both mains and the pasta sauces, they, are, they, are, uh, they have as ingredient um, wild boar because it's one of the main meats uh, used here and it's uh, cinghiale. You will see in the local menus, cinghiale. Now, let's go explore. In apart from restaurants, you will find also plenty of bars and also this one is a tea room and it's a, with a panoramic terrace and it's written with 101 types of tea. And homemade cakes and lemon, chocolate, raspberry, apples, brownies. This town is lovely because it's all like uh, tiny little alleys. This is the tea room. This is a homestay. Maybe we still need to have lunch. Maybe after lunch we're gonna come and have a tea. Many places, many alleys, where you, wherever you turn, the many mm, corners of the town, you, you will have some little panoramic points because the town is basically just on top of a tough hilltop. And uh, you have a, a, like a 360 degree view of this uh, Treya Valley. You can also hear, I don't know if from the video you can, but you can also hear the, uh, the sound of the river that you see on the top. This town is known with several names. The town of the artist, the town of cats, and the town of witches. For Halloween, they stay out all night and they celebrate. They celebrate the Celtic New Year, they celebrate Halloween and uh, with some sort of like a magical atmosphere. Not just for Halloween but on the night between the 23rd and the 24th of June, witches, they gather and uh, they go um, collect wild flowers and herbs they put them on the water in a bowl with water they leave them out all night in the, under the moon and then the morning after they wash them their face with this uh, water that has been um, like uh, magical properties and uh, they say also uh, anti-aging and hydrating I don't think so um, the, the, it's called, it's the night of St. John, San Giovanni, and uh, they do it every night, every, um, every year in June. We booked our lunch from this um, restaurant, it's called Opera, it's like a little cherry opera. Cappellacci, they are a type of uh, stuffed pasta. Uh, the restaurant is made of is opera. Uh, they have two shifts on Sunday. They do two shifts, 12.30 and uh, 2.30. We booked for 12.30.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and check out romaxtree.com for more tips and guides.